Hi everybody, I'm Matt from Ava Lights. I am the AI sales engineer here in our London headquarters. And today we're gonna to go over triggering multiple clips across multiple layers in AI. So if you haven't seen our previous videos, I highly recommend checking those out first as they cover some of the basics and we're going into a bit more advanced techniques in this video. So when triggering a clip in AI, first thing you wanna do is select which screen fixture you want that clip to display on. Then you want to click which layer you want that clip to play on in that screen fixture. So it's important to remember that layer one is on top. And if we play that bit of media on the right screen, you can see it playing there. And we can play a separate bit of media in the layer stack on our left-hand side. Now, if you were using uh, some blend modes where you want two clips play on two layers at the same time as triggering them, there's a couple different ways of doing it. So first let's set up our layers. So you want an intensity mix of two things on this right hand side. So we've got two bits of content playing across two layers. But from the first look it seems quite difficult to trigger both of those at the same time. That isn't the case with layer locks. So if we select our layer, select our bit of media, and hit this L lock button. You can see at the top it says layer lock. That will lock that bit of media to that specific layer, and if you hit the F button, that will hit lock it to that specific fixture. So even if we are on a separate screen, on a separate layer, and trigger that bit of content, it will not trigger on that layer selected. It will always force itself to trigger on, in this case, layer one, fixture one. And you can see these if you right click the clip. Rather than using the lock button, you can always type in your values in these boxes here. So let's do the same thing for the second one. So we trigger it on layer two, lock it to the layer and the fixture. And so that prevents us from activating those clips on any other layer or fixture. The one more thing that we can do with it is use what we call a buddy group. So this will mean whenever clip one is triggered, clip two will be triggered automatically. So clip one will play on layer one, since we locked it there, and clip two will play on layer two. And to do that, we click this buddy icon. And you can see BO, it's using buddy group zero for these two clips. And again, if you right click on the clip, that can be seen just here, buddy group zero. So now if we clear out those layers, and say we're on a completely different layer and activate those clips, they will always play in their respective layers, in their respective fixture. Now I mentioned there's another way of doing this, and that is using scene triggers. Now scene triggers are a bit of a double-edged sword. Uh, they're incredibly powerful, but they save absolutely all the information in that scene. It's sort of like recording in stage mode in Titan. So when we have a scene trigger, click it, and it recalls all the information in that scene when we recorded it. So you can see some that we did earlier. Incredibly powerful. But if we ever want to turn any of those features off, say you want the clip to be recalled, but not the effects, or the layer settings, you can go in and disable certain parameters in that scene trigger. And to record one of these, it's just as easy as going into your media bank and clicking this sun icon, create scene trigger. And that will take a snapshot of your current scene and you can always go back to it by clicking it. The other thing I've done here is just added a name to my scene triggers and that's just done by typing in here and hitting enter. You can see the names there. Thank you all for watching. If you'd like to know more about AI, please check out our other videos, and hope to see you guys soon.